I don't love baseball cards. Got them, got them, need them, got them, got them, got them, need them, got them, need them, need them, got them, got them, got them, got them, need them. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Garage Sale Flea Market Pickup Videos. Well, I went to a garage sale and I decided I'm going to split this video into two because some of the items were a dollar. So we're going to give you the I'll buy that for a dollar video. But I'm going to share with you the non-dollar items first. So be sure to check out the dollar video. It will be coming soon. But let me just show you this really quick find. And whenever you go to a yard sale and you see baggies of cards, that's also a great sign. So I was kind of going through their cards and I saw this package and it's just those random TCMA cards and it had a two dollar price tag on the back and I thought well that's more than fair enough so I opened it up and lo and behold it's just a nice hodgepodge of different TCMA cards like here's the all-time Orioles, Padres um, this is a Casey Stingle I guess oh, I'm sorry Mickey Rivers you know, just a whole bunch of random cards. There's a Willie Mays, Warren Spahn, Carl Yastrzemski, Bob Feller. You know, on down the list, there's the Dodgers. Don Drysdale, Richard Rowe. There's a Hank Aaron, Brooks Robinson. Marichal, you know, just, just a random, random stack of cards. Connie Mack, early win. Raleigh Fingers. Dave Roberts. Here's some minor league ones in here. Here's that Paul Ossenbacher that I actually got signed. Some minor league cards different people so that was that and the other thing that I got that is just for this video and I'll show the other items as well but they're going to be in the dollar video is for one dollar a piece I could not believe this I found these like in just a bin of cards and they were a dollar each so I wasn't going to argue and I put them in the top loaders not one not two but three Roger Clemens rookie cards. So for just a couple, you know, dollars each, I think they were two bucks each. I don't remember, but I wasn't going to argue at that price. So I took all three of them. Now, for the dollar items, we're going to split this up for another video because I'm going to go more in depth. But I bought one whole bag of 7 Eleven Slurpee coins for a dollar. I also bought a whole bag for one dollar of the Kellogg's 3D Superstar cards and I also bought for just over a dollar another stack of Kellogg's Superstar cards. Now my question to some of the collectors that maybe collect these is this normal? For them to curve like this, is that is that a normal thing? I mean, I, I've never seen that before, but I took some of the curved ones and I stuck them in top loaders. And we got a Nolan Ryan, a Robin Yount, a Stremski, a Pete Rose, and a Reggie Jackson. So stay tuned. I'm going to go through all of these Slurpee coins and these Kellogg's cards in their own video. So... Tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm probably just, like I said, going to show those off and we can talk about them because I have a very, very heart-wrenching one of these Slurpee coins that's just going to make you sad when I show it to you. So, hope you enjoyed this really quick video. As always, happy collecting. Tell me what you think in the next video. Happy collecting.